What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and if you know my story then you know that I wasn't always stylish. I wasn't always confident in my wardrobe choices, you know, I made a lot of mistakes to get to where I am today. And that is why I created this channel, to make sure that you don't make the same mistake. And today's video is a perfect example of that. I'm gonna show you the mistakes that I made when I was younger and give you the style tips that I wish I knew back then. This video is sponsored by Stitch Fix who are incredible and I love working with them. I'm excited to show you some of the clothes that I got from them this month, like the shirt that I'm wearing right here. All right, let's get this started. One of the biggest mistakes that I made when I was younger was going to the store with $100 or whatever, $50, doesn't really matter, and just spending it all on one thing. One hoodie with that hyped logo. One pair of sneakers, you know, or sometimes a t-shirt just because they had a, a logo here in the middle and I thought that logo would get me compliments at school. I did that because I thought that to be stylish, I had to wear a specific logo or brand and I wish I could go back to tell myself, dude, no, that is not true at all. What I should have done and what you should be doing instead of spending that much money on one thing is getting high quality basics that fit you well, that last a while, and that you're gonna wear every day. If you get one expensive tee with a logo right here, you know, a big box logo, I think you know which brand I'm talking about, then you can't wear that every day. You can literally only wear that to school a couple of times a month, or people are going to think that that's the only t-shirt that you own. So instead of doing that, get high quality basic tees with solid colors, you know, and you can wear those a couple of times a week without anyone noticing, especially if you wear an open jacket over it. Next, I really wish I could go back in time and tell myself, yo, Alex, you need to know how to mix and match your clothes, man. You can't just assume that everything you own goes together. Some things do not match. And looking back now, I made that mistake so many times. I had no idea what I was doing. I would just pick any shirt any pants out of my closet, put them together, and assume that that outfit would be okay. I was wrong. It takes skill, it takes practice to put these outfits together. You know, you can't just assume that everything will work with each other. And guys, that is exactly why I love Stitch Fix. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like having a personal stylist as a best friend with you at all times. You go to their website, you pick your style, your personality, brands that you like, and then one of their expert stylists will start creating outfits for you. They will put these outfits together, then send them straight to your doorstep. What I like about them is that it's not like those subscription boxes that send you random things that you're literally never going to wear. These are awesome brands like Rag & Bone, which is this right here, Tom's, John Varvatos, Cole Haan, they work with over a thousand brands. Just look at all the amazing pieces that I got from them. You tell them your price range, style, and size, they style everything together for you, send you the pieces, and get this, you only pay for what you keep, and it's free shipping, free returns and free exchanges. That means that you can try everything at the comfort of your own home and then return anything that you don't like for any reasons. And I'll be honest, I doubt that you're gonna return anything. I know I haven't because their stylists are awesome. They even send you photos of your outfits and how you can wear the pieces that you're receiving. It's perfect for you guys who are just figuring out your style now. So when your friends see you next time, they'll be like, how did you put that outfit together? That looks awesome. Just take the credit, you know, and say, yeah, I put this together myself, and then secretly you're just gonna fist bump your stylist at Stitch Fix. Guys, it's an unreal deal. I'll leave the link to Stitch Fix below so you can go and start getting styled professionally right now. It is gonna be the first link in the description below. The next style tip I wish I knew when I was younger. <laughs> Stop wearing, <laughs> so embarrassing, <laughs> running sneakers with jeans. That's right, boys, I used to, just pair my running or training sneakers with jeans and a t-shirt, and then I would go out wearing that fit. It was horrible. I'm not sure why I thought that was a good idea, and looking back now, man, it, it looked really bad. If I could go back and give myself some advice, it would be to get some plain white or black leather sneakers, or at least some type of sneaker that wasn't like running sneakers. You know, they aren't made for you to wear with a normal outfit. They're for working out and exercising. Come on, Alex. Oh man, so embarrassing looking back now. You know, I wish I could go back and tell myself that. One time, I had this cute girl in my class and she came up to me, asked me why I was wearing running sneakers with my jeans and if that was Brazilian fashion since I'm from Brazil. 
Well, boys, needless to say, that was the last time I ever wore those sneakers outside of the gym. And, uh, and yes, I was very, very embarrassed. Man, I really wish I had YouTube and a style guru telling me what to do back then, but I didn't. Style tip I wish I knew when I was younger. How to style my hair properly. I used to throw just a bunch of gel, literally just go gel, boom, put it on my hair, spike it up, do some weird things with it and hope that it would look good. And guess what? It really didn't. So I would go back and tell myself to start using a clay or a paste instead of gel. I'd also tell myself to find photos online of the hairstyles that I liked and bring them to my barber at the time because I would go in and I would ask for a cut and he would always ask me, hey, what kind of hairstyle do you want today, man? And I would just say this. Uh, dude, I just want short on the sides and short on the top too, but a little bit longer, not too short. What does that even mean? That is literally the most generic haircut that you could ever ask for. So I learned to be way more vocal with my barbers. You know, now I know exactly what I want and I make sure that he knows before he ever touches my hair. Videos and photos, are highly recommended they really help so if you have you know photos or videos of the hairstyles that you like bring them in and i've had so many different hairstyles over the years you guys know that including now this is the longest it's been in a very long time feel free to steal some photos if you like my hairstyle on instagram it's at alex costa you can find it in the description below as well this next one is huge i know a lot of you guys do this especially in school copying the same exact outfits as your friends. Are you kidding me? Why do you all want to look alike? Guys, you shouldn't be trying to blend in here. You need to stand out and show personality, right? Show the world what kind of person you are. I always think it's so funny when I see a group of friends walking together and I look at them and they look exactly the same. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna perform a song together? What is this, some new K-pop band I haven't heard of? This is exactly when Stitch Fix comes in clutch. You know, change it up, be different, stand out from the rest, surprise your friends with an outfit they would never be able to put together. And the easiest way of doing that is definitely by clicking that first link below. And if you guys use the link in my description, you get your first styling fee waived, which means you get styled by Stitch Fix for free. Next, I would tell myself not to buy fake things like sneakers, sunglasses, anything designer. I remember some of my friends would show up with new Oakleys every day to school and Oakleys were popping sunglasses back in the day. I found out they were fake and I bought some from that school friend. What I found out is that I actually lived in fear and I was scared of wearing those sunglasses because I thought someone would come up to me and say, I know, I know those are fake. So instead of feeling good about what I was wearing, I was actually scared and it made me feel worse. So basically I bought those fake designer sunglasses that I never really wore and that was a huge mistake. If you wanna buy nice things, they're gonna cost you some cash. Well, save up and buy the real thing when you're ready. You don't need to try to impress people with brands and logos anyway, so don't worry about it. And when you buy the real thing, you're gonna feel amazing. It's almost like a trophy. You worked hard, you saved up, and you got what you wanted. Now you can wear it without being afraid of someone calling you out. Guys, don't forget to check out Stitch Fix and get styled by an expert. You only pay for what you keep, so you have nothing to lose. They do an amazing job, so I know you're going to love it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, all right? Subscribe, we are 2.8 million subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you so much for supporting me and thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace.